able to live a powerless life life without identity kingdom of darkness does not acknowledge that i have come and i live under the yoke of the devil i don't want to live i don't want to live under the subjugation of the kingdom of darkness i believe in power i'm a creature of power i was forged by power i was created for power i have been given power if it will ever be then it will be by power God came upon my wife one day and from the standing position to the floor, she saw a vision. When you fall today, see something before you get down. In the name of, don't just, don't, no, no. See? See something. See something. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. That vision she saw in just a few seconds is, is the definition of her life today. Yes, it's a call. I will answer. I will give you your prayer point. I'll give you your prayer request. But when your spirit has gained ascendancy and you have arrived at a, an energy level for, for sight, that's why I'm, I allow some affliction so that you can call. V visions will not come to you uh, on, 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 on plain level. You need to gain ascendancy. There's an energy level where visions are possible. So I'll allow an affliction to put pressure on you so that you can call. The moment you call and I see you reach that point, I will answer. Remove the affliction. And then, I will now show you. He will show you today in the name of Jesus. So that's what we call the sight of what? Of affection. I was denied a visa one day and I forgot about it. And when I applied again, I made an obvious mistake. Oh came back heartbroken hallelujah and it came to pass while I slept I beheld a man come into my room and he said I came to give you your visa I thought it was real then I woke up my wife woke me and I did not speak for a long time what is this with this mistake it's called great and mighty things. Great, great. It will beat your imagination. It will flaw your thinking pattern. It will go beyond your expectation. A major flaw, but it didn't count. And after I saw that vision, I knew I had it. And so it was. Some things you think you have missed, you will see it again. <laughs> Acts chapter 10 verse 9 you know this one Acts 10 9 on the morrow as they went on their journey they drew nigh unto the city Peter went up upon the house up to pray about the sixth hour and he became hungry and would have eaten but while they made ready he fell into a trance you see when you have video without audio many times the video has no meaning try to watch your screen without audio just shut it down and somebody will be doing like like, like this and you will not be able to interpret it will be a mystery huh? so you even though you have video you need what you need audio and he saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him as he had been a great sheet neat at the four corners and let down to the earth wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air and there came a voice to him rise Peter you, you know this one is the hearing of faith rise Peter it's not because there was a voice that was audible to your ears the voice was only audible to the ear of your spirit and I say ear not plural singular in Matthew chapter 11 Jesus said he that has ears let him hear and he was speaking about the fact that John the Baptist was Elijah to come he was talking to it was his physical communication but when he went to the book of Revelation the same Jesus now I say he that has an ear in the book of Revelation let him what 
so if this is not plural it is your spiritual ear is singular he that has what let him so the bible says that the seeing eye and the hearing ear is the lord that gives them both just in case so i'm going to stop here you do the study of the last one so that we can do practical hallelujah in the school of prophets after instruction there is supposed to be an accompanying practical so that you will have confidence in on the move of god on your own life mm, that's what it's about <laughs> hallelujah you, you god has been moving on your life but you are not sure so that's the reason for the practical are you with me i said are you with me the seeing eye and the hearing ear it is the Lord that gives them both. So you can ask for a seeing eye. You can ask for a hearing ear. And the Lord will give them. I, I never knew how easy it was to prosper on my, until I started hearing God. Then the scripture that says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. Now began to make meaning to me. Just by a word from God, just a directive from God can settle your financial challenges forever. Yeah, forever. And so if we want to teach people to prosper, my own aspect of that lecture is to teach you how to hear. The technocrat can come and teach you skills. Me, I will teach you hearing. Hallelujah. If you can hear well, you can do something that the technocrat says you should not do and it will work. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So in the school of prophets, what we do, and which we are going to do now, if you want to hear God, the easiest way to activate his hearing is by speaking in tongues. Now, see, that's, that's not all. As you speak in tongues, set your heart. You have the authority to exercise your will in that regard. Set your heart on the Lord. Not on your on the house rent. Not what your manager said today that is troubling you now. Can you forget about your manager? And just you can do that with your will. Set it on the Lord. Can we try? Alright, so for the next 10 minutes, it's practical. What did I say? You speak in tongues. And then you set your heart on the Lord. Not on any other thing. Just on what? On the Lord. Then as we begin to do it, heaven will open. When heaven opens, then we'll begin to run commentaries. The spiritual senses will begin to operate. Then you will understand what I'm saying during the practical. Can we, can we, can we focus on the Lord? Just focus on him. Focus on Jesus as you pray in tongues. Focus on Jesus. Just focus on Jesus nothing else take everything else out of your heart and just focus on jesus just focus i wish that all the lord's children were prophets and that he will put his spirit upon them just focus make sure you are praying in tongues and then you focus focus on jesus don't focus on anything else oh my don't focus on anything take any care out of your heart let the Lord alone be magnified be magnified therein Mebronda suke kebesko framasi konte malakuria premina suka bela taita. All right. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but the receptacle is functioning already. It takes five minutes 
if you are a prayerful person and you pray one hour a day, it takes five minutes for you to enter into the hearing zone. Five minutes of prayer. Five minutes. You see, your prayer of inquiry sits on the foundation of the prayer of charging. That's what we call prayer of charging. Your spiritual batteries require like one hour minimum for charging. And if you fought with your wife, it will take one hour, 45 minutes for charging. You fought with her in the night. The charging time will be prolonged because you have to go into repentance and, and probably go back to where she is and wake her up. All of that is part of the charging. So when you are charged, that one hour, one hour, 45 minutes charge will take you through the day. Subsequent praying in tongues will take you to the hearing zone. Yes. This is what God said. He said that there were 21 people in the auditorium. You, you can sit or stand. No, don't worry. You don't need to stand. Sit. We are still in class. We will do the general prayer and ask the Lord to give hearing ears and eyes. Okay? We will do that one, that general prayer. But now, it's, the Lord says that there are 21 people. He wants to give. Okay. How did I? This one is hearing. This is hearing. All right, and you know those days while I worked in Lagos, I like taking buses because when there's noise, I hear more. I don't know, but I found out. You see, you need to find yourself, find the kind of prophet you are. There are some prophets that need to go to the beach where there's no sound. I'm not that type. When the horns are blaring, my hearing is. Find yourself. The world of the spirit. There's more excitement in your spirit than Champions League. Now, so I said that there are 21 people that God, um, I saw, I saw that, oh my God, it's, it's even stronger. God wants to conscript them. He wants to give them the grace to intercede. All right? Okay. Now, when you pick a frequency from heaven, the next thing you do is you ask God to fulfill it. Exactly. You pick a frequency, then you what? Is that difficult? All right. So let me ask him now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you said that um, there were 21 people that you wanted to conscript as intercessors in this place in order to make life and power available uh, for your grace to be so strong on this house. I ask so God in the name of Jesus from my left hand side to my right hand side on the internet, uh, the East Auditorium, the Open Heaven Auditorium. Those ones you have chosen, can you identify them by an anointing? Just drop something on them. Drop something on them. Drop something on them. Drop something on them. Okay, it's coming stronger now. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Drop something. Drop something. Drop something. Drop something. Drop something. Drop something. Drop something on them. Drop it on them. Drop it on them. Drop it on them. Drop it on them. Holy Ghost. 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 Move. Now, ushers, if you can locate them, help me. Bring them. I need to prophesy on them. Okay, it's coming stronger. It's coming to the open heavens. The open heavens. The open heavens. The open heavens. The hand of God. The, oh my God. The East Auditorium. The East Auditorium. The East Auditorium. It's coming. And don't, oh my God. Oh my God. It's coming stronger. Oh, it's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Kovesame. Kavesoko Mantalia. Isko Bresko Fete. Oh my God. Allah Mamaya. And then the fire of intercession comes upon your belly. Comes upon your belly. To stir you. To stir you up. To give you capacity. It burns. It burns stronger. It burns stronger. It burns stronger. And from the open heavens. From the open heavens. From the open heavens.
in bonds you are conscripted you are conscripted already you are conscripted you are conscripted already oh my god you are conscripted already Paris Kofelema conscripted already thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus okay are you still in the class are you still in the class please stay in the class stay in the class oh my god <laughs> can you stay in the class you know at some point the Holy Ghost will take the service from me but before he does at least I can I can share a few things with you listen to me now I see my spiritual eyes have opened and I see an angel of the Lord coming so mighty so mighty coming so mighty now oh my god now this is where the angel is going the angel is walking here listen okay this is where the angel is now listen the reason why the angel is here is because there's somebody around me here that the angel came to pick and then the anointing then the anointing see i have nothing to do with that it's just sight sight when your eyes are open it's the clearest it's a graphic illustration of what is on the mind of god and when you obey it power goes along with it listen to me listen now i'm facing this place because the angel is facing this place and around this place around this place around this place the hand of god will come upon someone here around this place you can see that do you understand what i'm talking about if you follow the directive of god if you follow oh my god oh 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 now i see the angel of fire i see this angel carrying fire there are some people that will be ignited they'll be ignited they'll be ignited they'll be ignited meanwhile somebody's womb just open somebody's womb just open now I see a window opened in heaven. I see a window opened in heaven. Opened in heaven. Opened in heaven. And the hands, the fingers of the angels. It comes upon two prophets in the congregation. You will feel fire upon you. You will feel fire upon you. Now, okay, you people helping me. Let me give you something. Just shake me. Shake me. You shake me. You shake me. You shake me. I was instructed to shake you and in seven days time you will know why I shook you ah oh my god you see the Lord is the, the Lord Jesus the Lord Jesus himself is in the East Auditorium now I see his feet shining from the East Auditorium there is somebody afflicted in the east auditorium and jesus is taking away that yoke from your life oh my god me and so many those of you in the front row those of you in the front row the lord's hand is on somebody on the front row it's on somebody on the front row it's on somebody on the front row holy father we 
worship you precious Jesus our Savior Holy Spirit we wait on you you can you can pray a prayer now and say Lord give me seeing eyes and hearing ears let my receptacle be activated let my perception become accurate oh my god you will rise prophesy direction will come to you direction will come to you the hand of God will be strong on your life Holy Spirit Your ear is healed. You will hear the voice of God. Your eyes will see the glory of God. Your eyes will see the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, this is the moment to receive. In this moment, anything is possible. Those of you listening online, you are part of this meeting. And the hand of God is around your life, is upon your life, even as you listen on and watch on the internet. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You will rise prophesying. You will rise prophesying. You will rise prophesying. Hallelujah. Those in the open heaven, I want to pray for you. Then I'll pray for those in the main auditorium. Then I pray for those in the east auditorium. Those in the open heaven. There are two people I see in the spirit. And from what I see, they will receive a touch from the angel of God. And that touch is going to open your spiritual ears. And you will so hear God that at times you will hear the audible voice of God. And there are two people like that in, in the overflow, the open heaven. And the hand of God comes upon you this moment. In the name, oh my God, oh Jesus Christ. In the main auditorium, I have good news for you. I see someone in the auditorium that has been experiencing losses. You make some decisions, you think it is strategic, but when it turns out, it turns out that is the wrong decision. And you've made, made that mistake a couple of times. And right now, God is giving you the ability to perceive his heart. And your decisions will be strategic. And, and in this 2020, you will recover what you lost. Three great losses will be recovered in your life this year. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. I pray for the people in the main auditorium that their receptacle will come alive. Their eyes to see, their ears to hear, and their heart to understand. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those in the East Auditorium. Oh, I see. I see. 
there is one of you in the East Auditorium. You are called to be an evangelist. You are called to rattle the foundation of the devil in rural areas, not in city centers. God has given you a grace, a grace in the area of deliverance. You will be proficient in casting out devils. Anything that has to do with darkness, you will be a specialist in that area to dislodge the infrastructure of the kingdom of darkness. And as I speak to you in the east gate now, your body is vibrating. Your body is vibrating because the hand of the Lord is upon you. And the impartation you need for activation is ongoing right now. In the next two minutes, anywhere you are inside, outside, on the internet, it's time to speak in tongues. There's about to be a procession. A procession of God. Oh my God. You will rise prophesying. The things that hindered you before will not be able to hinder you again. There's a procession in the spirit. As it was then, the desire of Moses is still valid. The least among our numbers will become as strong as David. Our hearing will be accurate. Our sight will be aided of God. There will be no weakling in our midst. Because the hand of God will cause, will cause us to perceive that which is upon his heart. No weakling. You will not marry the wrong person. You will not enter into the wrong business. You will not partner with the wrong people. Oh, as you stand in the byways, you will hear a voice behind you say, This is the way, walk in it. No wrong move, no wrong decision, no wrong, no wrong strategy. Because God will become your teacher, He will open your understanding far above your learning and you will have insight coming from God he will ordain your going out and your coming in oh For some others, God will put the burden of some nations, Slavi, Rwanda, Uganda. But there is an assignment for everyone. It doesn't matter where you walk, that's your walk, that's your job. But your calling is your walk.